What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's vid, as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about an extremely good hunter PVE build with number one, Stasis, so Silence and Squall, and the new exotic trace rifle, Aegis Scepter. But before we get into it, just two things. Number one, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm dropping build videos on here, weapon reviews, exotic armor reviews, things that are tuned, you know, even stuff from my TikTok channel, I drop here on YouTube shorts as well. So, you know, if you like the content, like I said, subscribe. Number two, if you want to catch the content live, again, I do stream on Twitch. I also play with viewers, people in my community, people in my Discord, all that stuff is linked in the description. Let's get into it. Let me just say this was like a collaboration of people that thought of this build, not just me. I was thinking about it. I just didn't have the catalyst for uh, Aegis Scepter yet. But in any event, let's run through the build. So number one, again, we're going to have Revenant on, aka Silence and Squall. But the super isn't really what I'm focused on. What I really want to focus on is Withering Blade. Again, you get the two shurikens. Aspects, Grim Harvest, defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy when picked up by your allies. Again, it's slowed or frozen. You get bigger ones if they are frozen. Uh, grenade, doesn't really matter. I just put on Dust Field. And then I also have Touch of Winter. Again, your grenade pretty much gets an upgrade. You could do Touch of Winter or you could do Winter Shroud. The only reason I did Touch of Winter is because you get two fragment slots versus one with Winter Shroud. And same thing with Shattered Eye, you get one with Shattered Eye as well. Fragment wise, these are the ones that you're going to want. At least, you at least want Whisper of Bonds. Defeating frozen targets grants you super energy, minus 10 to discipline and intellect. That's not going to matter when you see the build, okay? Number two, Whisper of Conduction. Nearby stasis shards track to your position. Again, this is just super easy, so you don't have to go running for them. They just come to you. And so these last two mod slots, there's a couple things you can do. There's a variety of them. I just went with Whisper of Impetus. Damaging targets with a stasis melee. Reload your stowed weapons and grants you a temporary boost to weapon ready speed. So pretty much anytime you get a hit or kill with Withering Blade, guess what? All your weapons like that are stowed get reloaded. I think that's really good, especially weapons that don't come with something like auto-loading holster. I think this is a <clears throat> excuse me, good option. So, and then I went with Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a Stasis Shard grants a small amount of Overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the Overshield and refreshes the timer. I personally like this because it pretty much makes your Hunter a tank with all the shards that you're making, especially with this. And, like I said, Aegis Scepter. But again, we can substitute a couple of other aspects in here. So you could go with something like Whisper of Hunger. Increases the melee energy gain from picking up Stasis Shards. So... Again, you get more melee energy, but you also lose out on mobility and recovery. Again, that's up to you. Whisper of Rendering. Kinetic weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals frozen targets. So this would only apply to the frozen targets. That's why I don't recommend this one. But there's always a couple other ones in here. But I just went with this because I felt like this was best for the build, in my personal opinion. Again, there's going to be plenty of other builds that are very similar to this. This is just mine because I want my Hunter to be a super generating tank, right? So, first up, Aegis Scepter, weapon-wise. Again, Arrowhead Break, Particle Repeater, then Riga's Refrain. Stasis Final Blows transfer ammo to this weapon's magazine from reserve. Again, it's kind of like similar to Prometheus Lens, where you get the kill and automatically reloads the weapon. Then Hand Laid Stock, and then Aegis Call, Intrinsic Perk. Final Blows of this weapon generate a slow burst around the defeated target. Pretty much, it does a slow burst, but it ends up freezing the targets as like an after effect kind of thing. And then once you get the Catalyst... This is interesting. So basically, if you hold down your melee button, drain super energy, overflowing the magazine, and empowering the beam with bonus damage and the ability to slow and freeze targets until the magazine or super energy runs out or the weapon is stowed, can only be activated when your super energy is full. So pretty much you get extra damage while your super energy is full with this weapon. Other weapons here don't really matter. I just have my Reese Regret with Vorpal. So I wish I had triple tap on it. But again, you can use like whatever weapons you want here. And I just have Gnawing Hunger because I had Anti-Barrier on. But in any event, going over the armor, I'm just going to be going over specific things that you're probably going to need. Helmet wise, since hands-on is only costs one and it's in the artifact, highly recommend getting it since we're going to be using the Shuriken. And then we also have Melee Well Maker. Again, this is the Elemental Well mod. Power Melee Combatant final blows spawn elemental wells matching your subclass energy type. Again, since we're rocking stasis, it's going to give us stasis elemental well. So keep that in mind. Gauntlets. Again, we want elemental shards. This one is why we have Grim Harvest on people. Okay, stasis shards count as a stasis elemental well. It doesn't apply to Crucible Trials or Iron Banner, so pretty much it doesn't apply to PvP. But this is phenomenal for something like PvE. So number one, the melee kill, number one, gives you an elemental shard. And also creates an elemental well. So you pretty much get double on top of that. Also, if you have stasis as the armor, 
you get this perk, Melee Kickstart. When your melee energy is fully expended, you gain melee energy. And again, you can rock two of these if you want. I just have our anti-barrier on. Again, if you need to rock something like Unstoppable Fusion, if you have a fusion on, or like, like I said, the linear fusion, you can take this off, but I'd recommend putting two of these on if you're just doing leisurely activities to where you don't need, you know, the, I guess, champion mods, but <clears throat> melee kickstart here is phenomenal. So, flowing vest. Again, this is on stasis, doesn't really matter. Main thing here, font of might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants you a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type. Pretty much a rocking stasis. We pick up a stasis well. We get extra damage. It's pretty much like high energy fire on the charge of light stuff. It just makes it easier because we're already picking up stasis shards and we're already picking up the elemental wells. And since stasis shards count as elemental wells, it counts as this, blah, blah, blah. And then reserve I just did double trace rifle because I wanted a lot of trace rifle ammo. Because obviously for that extra energy drain super perk, it's going to be kind of busted. Star your scales. Again here. So if you don't know this exotic feast of light, you gain additional super energy from orbs of power you pick up. So again, this is made by masterwork weapons <clears throat> age receptor now <clears throat> in any event <laughs> while your super energy is full picking up an orb of power overcharges your super causing you to gain a burst of healing when cast and a bonus to your super damage at maximum overcharge you gain an overshield so pretty much this allows us if we don't want to expend you know our super on age receptor we still get that additional weapon damage not as much though, and you don't get the overflow stuff, but in any event, the other mod I have on is Well of Potency. Picking up a matching elemental well grants you super energy. So since we're rocking stasis, pick up an elemental stasis well or a shard, get additional super energy, which is very, very nice. Cloak wise, you know, the reason I have particle deconstruction on is just because of the linear fusion. You know, be able to take out bosses very easily, but you can also put on, I'd recommend this too, especially if you're doing activities with overload champions, thermoclastic strike, pretty much solar stasis melees, disrupt champions, stunning them, delaying ability regen, and lowering combatant damage output, but pretty much can stun the overload champions. Plus you have two shurikens, freaking easy mode. Plus you're picking up stasis shards, get the melee a lot easier. You're going to be able to, you're going to be able to stop them fairly easily. But again, you could also do something like, you know, Font of Wisdom, picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type, grants you temporary significant increase to your intellect, improving the recharge rate. So it doesn't give you extra super energy, it just improves the recharge rate, which can be very, very nice. And then also on an arc, you know, armor for the Hunter Cloak, you could do Outreach, reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability, so when you dodge, you get, you know, melee cooldown and stuff like that. So if you are rocking Gambler's Dodge, you dodge, again, you get your melee back. So you can kind of see how this works. So again, as you can tell, the whole thing here is to be able to get your super very, very quickly. So again, with the shuriken, that procs the melee well maker, and with Grim Harmless, procs the elemental shards. And again, with the fragments, those come to you, you get the overshield, and you also get, you know, your melee cooldown already. Hands on from the helmet, get a melee kill, increase super energy from that, right? Pick up the elemental well, font of might, your weapons do extra damage, well of potency, Again, picking up the well, getting the extra damage, more super energy, and again, Thermal Classic Strike, be able to get, you know, stop the Overload Champions and stuff like that. And then, pretty much, once your super energy is full, you can proc the Age Receptor perk, which, you know, it drains your super energy, but the cool thing is, is that if you keep picking up Elemental Wells and you keep picking up your Stasis Shards, guess what? Your super energy gets bumped back up, so that means the perk can last on this longer. That's why I decided to do Trace Rifle Reserves double so I get a lot more Trace Rifle ammo because, again, this thing unprocs itself when you change weapons, reload, or ammo runs out. And so I'm over here like, I do not want my ammo to run, run out. I want to be able to keep up that damage. I want to be able to keep getting my super energy back. Yeah, this this is totally and utterly busted, especially when it comes to regular PvE. And I also decided to take this into a Legend Law Sector as well just to see how viable it is. Granted, I probably could have done, like, build wise a little better but holy crap is it still so effective bro you get the extra damage from agers and you can shred bosses like crazy you can shred champions like crazy this build is so it's so broken in pve and the thing is i don't have a problem with that at all it's not something that's completely game breaking per se because you still have to earn you still have to get your super you you can't run out of ammo like there, there's plenty of factors here that you know don't make it overpowered but holy crap is it effective this is one of the most effective i think out of all the seasons that we've had an artifact i think this is one of the most effective pve hunter builds that you can do granted hunters have like pretty solid pve stuff again boss damage celestial nighthawk with golden gun 
Again, Liar's Handshake, Shotgun, One-Two Punch. Again, we do have those, but with this, your super comes back faster. If you don't want to use your super and you want to, you know, use something like Reed's Regret and you have your super overcharged and your weapons have more damage, you pick up the Elemental Well. Something like Reed's Regret with Vorpal. Heck, even like Cartesian Coordinate with Vorpal because that fusion rifle is like the new DPS weapon now. Like, holy crap, bro. You're going to be able to do so much crap <laughs> with this build. You're pretty much going to be like a PV. You're, you're, the, you're the mixture between crowd control and boss mini boss damage. It's absolutely and utterly disgusting. And I love it. No complaints. This build's awesome. If you like it, good. Now that you're at the end of the video, if you believe that I added some value or entertainment to you, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it out if you'd like to any social medias that you have. Also, be sure to join my Discord community so you don't miss out on anything. We have gamers and streamers that play on a variety of platforms, and again, the link to my Discord is in the description below. There are multiple ways to support me, whether it's monetarily through Twitch, my merch, my business, etc., or you can just come out to the live streams, interact with my content on social media. Uh, for my gaming content, I'm on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And for my personal content, I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Plus, I have my own podcast that's available on Apple, Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, pretty much everywhere that you listen to the podcast where I cover mindset and success principles and have some guests on occasionally. The links for literally everything are in the description below. And lastly, if you're looking for a clan to join, we have some spots left in my clan, the D1 Fire Team. If you request to join, I'll let you in myself, and the link for that is also in the description below. All right, I'm out. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you in the next one.